What's good guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a product that has been highly requested from you guys and I can see why. These things are pretty awesome. So today we'll be taking a look at the Mack Weldon Ace Sweatpants. Okay, first off I want to say that this is not my first pair of Ace Sweatpants. I actually tried them about two years ago and ended up returning them to Mack Weldon because of the way they fit. I didn't really care for the fit. They were just a little bit too loose for me. Like, you know, how picky I am with my leg hole openings and like them being really tapered at the bottom. Um, so ended up returning them. Then I started YouTube. This was before YouTube. Started YouTube and I got a good amount of comments about the Ace Foot Pants and I'd always like let people know, oh, I didn't really care for the way they fit. They were just a little bit too loose for me. And then I saw one comment that said, oh, I recommend you get a size tall and then go down a size, that makes it much more slim, right? So I was like, eh, okay. That was months ago, right? And I finally did that and tried it out. I'm gonna see if I can like find whose comment that was, cause yo, thank you. <laughs> but these fit so well that I was like pleasantly surprised and really happy. Okay, let's start with the materials. We have 95% cotton, 5% spandex. And as you can see, the size is a small tall you can get any size in a tall just to make it a little bit longer. So that's exactly what I did. Typically, if I get a small, they're just too short on me. The waistband is nice and stretchy. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Feels very well made. A couple other things I want to show you are the zippers. So you have one zipper right here on the side of the pants. Okay, you also have a back pocket zipper right there. Moving down to the bottom of the sweatpants, you'll see that the leg hole opening is nice and snug, just the way I like it. It also is nice and seamless. You don't have that cuff. I really am not a fan of cuffs. Um, I'd rather just have like a nice, like I said, seamless front. If I do turn around, you'll see they do have a little bit of cuff in the back just for like an extra bit of stretchiness. Um, do I think it's 100% necessary? Probably not, but I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. I also wanted to move as close to the camera as possible so you could see the material up close. It is a micro suede. It's extremely soft. I think they like sand it down so it's that much softer. Uh, feels really really nice and I think by seeing it that close you can probably tell how soft it is. And here we have the drawstrings with the metal caps. Those look and feel really nice, super high quality. And on the front left of the pants you'll see that they have their logo. You guys know I'm not a big logo guy but this one's not too bad. It's really not that noticeable and the pants are just way too nice for me to not wear them because of this. So. Not a big deal. Okay, let's go ahead and try them on. guys that's gonna bring us to our ratings so first up we have fit and I think these fit me literally I think the same as my outdoor voices joggers I reviewed a couple weeks ago or maybe a couple months ago I love these they're, they're just about perfect and they are getting a 5.7 out of 6 so the only thing they're a little bit tight a little bit snug on the waist but that's because I'm getting a small but it's not like so uncomfortable or anything it's, it's fine Next up, we have comfort, and if you look closely at the material, you can just tell it is so soft and so comfortable. It is micro suede, like I said before. It seems like they sand it down just to make it really like fuzzy and soft on your skin. Um, I absolutely love them. I think they're really comfortable. Maybe not quite as comfortable as the all-day joggers from Outdoor Voices, 
but definitely pretty close. So for comfort, they are getting a 3.6 out of 4, which gives them a total of 9.3 out of 10. Now these are listed at $78. So while that is kind of steep, it's not the steepest. I've definitely seen higher than that. Just last week we had cuts joggers for I think 118. Now those are a little bit more formal, so it's not really apples to apples there. But as far as value goes, I would give these a good. It's better than mediocre just because the product is so good. But if they were like 45, 50, that would be like a great value for sure. They also have really great color choices and I'll put some on the screen. Um, but I'm just tired of getting like the very plain black and gray, you know what I mean? I wanna switch it up and they just came out with like a couple really cool ones like a maroon and an olive. Um, these are called Storm Heather, I think. And I thought these were just so unique, but I'm definitely getting at least two more pairs. And by the way, guys, I am not an affiliate with Mack Weldon. This is just a totally honest review. But with that being said, that is going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I do want to let you know something. My next video, I'm going to look a little different. It's Movember, so get ready for that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you next week.